Hello, welcome to week six. I'm going to be going over quickly how to get to our Kinder website and how to get to the resources for the next three weeks since we are officially all digital learning. So if you go to our crystalschool.org, you go up to explore, you go to academics, hit the plus sign under distance learning, go to Kinder. Now our Kinder website will come up. I'm going to quickly go over the tabs at the top that you guys can use and then I'll go to our schedule and we'll be done. Okay, so our documents is going to be all of our papers that you guys can print out. You guys will be able to use these all over the summer because we're going to be keeping them up so you guys can help or you guys can utilize them for extra help at home. Our um, life cycle, those are going to be the insects that we are working on. Websites and links, these are awesome links and websites to all sorts of different categories. We've got the science, social studies, math, and the ELA's language arts. You can go to any of these, they do help out, they're wonderful. If you just click on the websites and links, you'll also get additional ones like typewriting or um, typing for kids. So, which also are gonna help because when they get in the first grade, they're gonna have their own Chromebooks. So you may wanna utilize that. We usually use it in the classroom so the kids are familiar with it. It's just an added resource for you. Um, we've got our teacher readings and links. We have Mrs. Green that's read that has read a couple books. We've got my YouTube page that you guys can always refer to. Um, Mrs. Schmidt, she does a lot of singing and reading too. And then we also have Miss Murphy as well. With that being said, we're gonna get to our schedules, okay? So as you scroll down, we've got our hello, welcome to our website. And then we've got our little blurb. Now our little blurb says the um, schedules that are gonna be up are week six through week eight. The reason why we have all three is because we are going to have a different activities on there that you guys can go to week eight and do them early. You guys can go to week seven. We want to be able to give you guys many different activities to use and putting them on one schedule is very overwhelming. So we decided to put the last three up. So if you look at the first one, it says week six, you'll see the different things that are underlined. They're in teal or blue. If you click on these, these are called hyperlinks. So it will open up a link to either reading eggs or math seeds. So that pops up and you guys have been using that so you know how to do them. We will not have any assignments for reading eggs or math seeds for the remainder of the school year, which is the next three weeks. So the kids can actually go in and they can work on their normal assignments or their normal lessons like they would do in class. Just go to the little guy with the little egg and then they can click on the lesson and just keep going. Now on the right, you'll see under um, science social studies, it's gonna have different underlined activities too. You may have one that says open link and it's gonna be a paper. Well, the papers are the documents that we have. They're also on our documents page. This is just a quicker link to them that you guys can print out or you can make your own at home. It's completely up to you, okay? And you guys are able to download them. You're able to print them out. Um, we got permission to do all that, so you're good to go. Now, we have week six. If you notice, there's not as many activities. That's because, like I said, we are decreasing the amount of um, activities that we're putting out there for you guys to do because the kids are starting to get to a point where they're kind of getting burnt out. It's the end of the school year, and this naturally happens at school too. So it's not something that's just happening at home. It's happening at school as well. Normally during this time, we've got our Comic Club 360, we've got our baseball games, we've got our kindergarten party, our kindergarten um, class party, we've got our field day, we've got a lot of different activities that they would be doing. So we decided as a group that we're gonna kind of lighten it up for you guys so that you guys can just have some fun with the kids. And that's what really what it's all about. So we've got, we still have some writing activities just for this week. I also put down at the bottom that it is Mrs. Green's birthday on Saturday. So if you get a chance for the kids to know, know her, or even if you don't, you could send her a quick little happy birthday. She has been at home by herself because she hasn't been able to see her little grandkids and she hasn't been able to see any of her students like a lot of us except for over Zoom. So any kind of message kind of brightens her day. Now we have week two or our week seven, it would be. If you scroll down, you'll notice the activities are starting to minimize. There's not as many. 
that doesn't mean that this is all you guys can do. You guys can go into the other website areas, you can go into the documents, you can do additional work if you want, but we are starting to decrease the amount of stuff that we are putting on our schedule. Our following week is our last week of school. Our last week of school, we have very a very small amount of things that we have. A fun activity that I normally do that I would give the first grade teachers is a application. Normally it's a handwritten note, but we found the application for this year for you guys to do. Um, you can take a picture of it and I can actually send it to their first grade teacher if you'd like. You just have them fill it out and then it gives them an opportunity just to say hi before the school year even starts. And it says a nice little uh, note or um, something about themselves that they want to share with their teacher. And we also have another activity which we added on here, which is brand new to everybody because this has to do with the times that we're in. It's called Time Capsule. This is about the situation we're currently in. This kind of helps the kids so that they have it as a memory book of what they're going through now because they're not going to remember when they're older. But it is something fun for them to refer back to as they're older and to say, oh, this is what was happening. It has everything from what they look like, what they liked, how tall they were, how they were feeling, what was going on around them, their handprint, um, special occasions, since I know a lot of you guys had either birthdays or anniversaries that happened. You guys should write them down there and how you guys celebrated being quarantined or um, isolated in your houses. So you've got a letter to self. You can have the kids, um, you could help the kids actually, or they can write it themselves, write a letter to themselves as they're older or as them young writing to them as an older person. Now interviewing the parents. And the last one is a note from their parents. Now you can write this just to them and let them know what's going on, how you are feeling, how things were, um, how school was, how, how your life changed, just something fun for them to refer back to. This is just an added little extra that we had put at the end. Now, this last week of school, we have nothing going on on Friday because they're officially first graders and their last day of school would be Thursday. Now, their last day of school would normally be me reading a book to them, us doing our uh, memory books, me handing them out and a little party and the parents would end up taking their kids home early. So we didn't put a lot on there. Just play and have fun. That Sunday is actually Mrs. Schmidt's birthday. So if you guys wanted to send a nice little happy birthday or happy future birthday to, to Mrs. Schmidt, you can write down here. Her little email address is down there. But this is for the next three weeks. Um, the last week of school or the second to last week of school, we're not quite for sure, week seven and week eight. We are currently working with the school to find out when we can hand out the leprechaun traps and um, our memory books, which we are making for you guys, and all of the their pencil boxes and stuff. So we'll get that information out to you guys as soon as we know. But as of for right now, just expect to be getting word within the week or two of how we're going to be getting that information back to you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We, again, will not be doing any assignments for Mass Seeds or Reading Aches. I will be doing the Zoom on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. It's just going to be a short Zoom. We're going to read a book, do a Go Noodle, and then that's it. Okay. It's just an opportunity for me to see the kids and for the kids to see each other. Okay. So I hope everybody's well and staying safe. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I hope everybody's being good and you had a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much. Bye.